and then there were two ladies and gentlemen it is time it is absolutely time bayern versus psg the big champions league final the game of all games the end of the 2019 2020 season the finale of the uefa champions league oh my goodness oh my jolly goodness now yeah 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 this is gonna be a fun game. This is gonna be a fun game. Now let's not let's not kid ourselves. What is PSG's weakness? It's their fullbacks, all right? They have a good midfield, a great attack, and a good defense. But their their fullbacks are their issue. Now that's all I wanna leave it with. That's all I wanna leave it with, ladies and gentlemen, because there is so much more that needs to be said. Now, first of all, there is a letter here. There is a letter here which I wanna show you all. Eh. And that is from Bayern itself. Now, actually, I, sh I sh probably should have checked if there was an English translation so I don't have to translate it myself. Uh, let's have a quick look. No. Figured. <laughs> Figured. So, there is a letter here. I'm going to try and translate it as good as I can. Uh, dear Bayern fans. I hate translating things. Especially long sentences like that. Uh, we've all had a very long um, time that we've all had a very long and uh, unusual time this season. Uh, but still, despite all that, we're now only one win away from getting our second treble in our club's history. Unfortunately, we... Um, Unfortunately, you guys, our fans, won't be able to be at the Champions League final against Paris Saint-Germain um, on Sunday. Uh, we'll miss you, but we will give everything to make your dreams come true. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Look, look at them! Look at them being so nice and saying that. We know that that you at home, that you uh, that you at home, regardless. That we know that you at home, regardless of where you are, will be um, supporting us with uh, with everything you've got. Um, if in Lisbon or in Munich or wherever, we will we we see our club as a family, and that's uh, and that's how we'll approach this game with everything that we have. Uh, we want we wanted to thank all of you for your loyal support. Our mission, Red. I mean, it says mission red here, so there's no point translating. Our mission red is now very, um, it is now close to being um, a success. Together, we can do it. I, I don't really think I have to translate the last part here. Let's do it. I guess let's do it. The Reds, Bayern. Let's do it. <laughs> Pac Mas, let's do it. Uh, your team. All right. I wanted to translate. I, I didn't know. Actually, I should have probably checked before I whether there was an English version, and I probably should have written notes and read that while I was I was I translated that while I was reading. So I hate doing that, but I always do that. But I wanted to talk about that because we're at that stage now. We're at that stage now where usually everyone would be trying to get a ticket. Everybody, let's not kid ourselves. We would all be trying to get a ticket. At this point, if the fans were allowed in the stadium, I would be selling a few things that I own, um, a few stocks that I own to get a ticket because this would be the big opportunity to make history. We had one trouble in our whole entire club and that was that was, despite the amount of talent that we've had with Franz Beckenbauer, with Gerd Müller. There are countless legends, of course, but they've only ever had one treble. This could be the second one. This could be the second one. Now, here are the facts. We have a very, 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 very good history against French clubs. Does that matter? Personally, not really. Um, records like these are there to be broken. Um, we're also... The, the team that has been in the second most amount of finals, I believe, only behind Real Madrid, but we have lost a significant margin of those. Um, personally, this will be my sixth final as a Bayern fan. Uh, I think that's, that's the math that I did last time. 1999, 2001, 2010, 2012, 2000. Yeah, this, this will be my sixth final as a Bayern fan. The team is good. The team is great. The team is fantastic. The team is going to do well. 
That much you can guarantee. My thing is, if Miller plays, we win. You heard me here right. If Miller, I'm going to quote Van Gaal here. Miller spielt immer. Miller always plays. If he plays, we win. Book it. If he doesn't get subbed out, we win. Book it. You know how I know that? 2010. I'm not talking about the Champions League. I'm talking about Germany. 2010 World Cup. Müller plays every single game. Every single game. Germany win. Germany win. Germany win. Germany win. Gets a yellow. I think a yellow. A second yellow and a red, I think it was. Against Argentina. For a handball that wasn't a handball. And he's out against Spain. And Germany lose. 2012. I hate that year. <laughs> I hate that year. But I've kind of gotten over it at this point. But 2012. Muller plays. He scores and does my all-time favorite celebration. My all-time favorite celebration. Just the pure... I'm not even going to try and attempt it. But just the pure... The, the way he kind of like go like does the jump like yeah yeah goes to the ground and comes back up it's like yeah amazing amazing celebration the only time where i can say Müller had the best celebration of all time uh, one of the best celebrations but the best celebration of that year that goal brilliant he scores that goal we're about three four minutes away from winning the champions league against chelsea he gets supped off and we concede 2013 Miller plays from beginning until end. We win. 2020. If Miller plays from beginning until end, we win. Mark my words. If Miller plays from beginning until I sound like a Miller fanboy lately because I've been talking about Miller so much. How he's been one of he's been the reason why we've been doing so good alongside uh, uh, you know with, with Flick because he because of him him being back into the team we started doing so well again. I've been saying that so long. I sound like a Miller fanboy right now. I, I really am not. Like I, I was the one. I was like the most critical person at him when he was you know doing really poor. But now that he's doing really good, I'm the one that's praising him the loudest. That's kind of how I am. Um... But, if he plays, we win. PSG's defense, I want to make this clear. PSG's defense is not that great. They have the best defensive record, sure. Their defense is not that great. They've played opponents that either didn't uh, pressure them too much or lacked the quality to pressure them too much. Um, Leipzig, they fir first half, they... Leipzig was full on defensive mode. Second half, they tried getting back into the game, but at that point, their belief was already gone. When they conceded a goal, their belief just completely died. Atalanta. Atalanta tried to do as much as they could, but ultimately, they lacked the quality up front. These are the moments that our players thrive in. You know what I want them to do? I, you know what I want them to do, truly? Go ahead. Mark Lewandowski out of the game. Man mark him the entire game because you know what teams that always do that Get punished by our other two clinical players Gnabry and Müller Have you noticed that it's not a difficult thing to notice But whenever a team focuses solely on Lewandowski The, the other two step up because then the other two they're good Müller especially is able to just sneaky 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 roam around and Gnabry with his pace is just able to sneaky 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 get to the ball first so I, I don't mind them marking Lewandowski out of the game Lewandowski will score though he will score though do you know how com do, do, do you know how confident I am right you all know me you all know me right if I'm not confident I always go with like a uh, a 2-1 result. A uh, 2-1 result. That's that's my... I don't know if we can win the game. My, a 2-1 result is me just like... I have no idea. This, this game is 50-50. I don't know if we can win it. I, I'm just going to say 2-1 uh, to having us win just barely. That's always my result when I'm like... I don't think we can do it. And then there are times where I'm like... You know what? I think a 4-1 or a 5-1 or a 6-1 result. When I'm like, yeah. They have plenty of weaknesses. There are plenty of weaknesses that people have not really exploited so far. Let's do it. <laughs> let, 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 let's do it. 
Do you want my trip? You want my actual score prediction? Honest score prediction. 6-1. 6-1. Oh, yeah. 6-1. You may be wondering. Oh, they've got Mbappe. They've got Neymar. They've got Di Maria. Marathi might be playing. Who knows, you know, who the goalkeeper's going to be. Um, 6-1. Now, I get into why. I get into why. I've kind of, like, took you on this journey with me. Now I need to explain where we're actually going. 6-1, and here is why. That This whole narrative, right, on... Oh, actually, let, let me get my voice right. <laughs> oh, by on play with such a high line, they're going to get completely exposed by the pace of Epape, Neymar, and Di Maria. One ball over the top by Paddy de Santa Neymar will be off anyway, starting, and you will be running and running and running like a horse, and then you will be scoring, scoring, scoring. It's like, bro. How many games have you lot watched? <laughs> how many games have you lot watched of Bayern and Champions League, alright? And if you can't tell, I was impersonating people, pundits, that haven't watched us play at all. That basically only watched us play in the Champions League in the last two or three games. Those are the people I'm imitating right now, alright? If you actually watch our Bundesliga games against teams that are very good at countering us, Dortmund come to mind. We played completely different. The game was a 1-0 victory for a goal through Kimmich. We, we scored one goal. Only one goal, you may, you may be thinking to yourself. But we did that because we didn't we, we didn't go all out aggressive. We, did, we didn't play the high line at, at the halfway line. That wasn't the case. We are not a one-dimensional team. That's what people have to realize. We're not a one-dimensional team. Now, PSG, they will likely have, you know, they will likely have analyzed, um, Tuchel will likely have analyzed our two last games uh, at minimum. At absolute minimum. And he'll be like, you know what? They play a high line. Are they going to play a high line against us? Ah, they, they play against Barcelona. They play against Lyon. They'll definitely play against... And that's going to be his mistake. That's going to be his mistake, all right? Against Barcelona, it made sense. Barcelona's attackers don't track back to help out in defense. And thus, we could play that high line because we had the um, height advantage to beat... Uh, the height advantage and the physicality to beat um, the long balls to the front. We had the pace as well. Um, and if we didn't have the pace, we had Neuer as well. So we had all these factors going into our into our favor. Against PSG, yes, they have pace. Yes, they have quality. They're a very good attack inside. They're not a very good defense. They haven't really been challenged offensively. They're not a very good defensive side. And because they haven't been tested, I feel like they're too confident right now in their defense. And that is exactly why we can punish them. Now, one battle that will be fun, very, very fun, will be uh, Perisic, if he plays, of course, and Davis against a certain Kera. And I'm not talking about Kera as in I'm going to care for you, but Kera. <laughs> That battle is going to be very, very fun. That's all, I can, that's all I will say. Very, very fun. Now, the thing with PSG is their forwards, they do track back. Neymar, Mbappe, Di Maria, they do track back. I'm assuming Di Maria is going to play. They do track back. And out of those three, honestly, the one, the one I'm most worried about is Di Maria. Um, I know people will be like, Mbappe, Neymar? What do you mean Di Maria? Di Maria is the one I'm most worried about. Uh, Neymar will be an issue don't get me wrong he will be an issue with his trickery on the ball and his overall quality on the ball mbappe will be an issue with his finishing on the ball and with his pace on the ball but di maria is the one that i'm just more worried about being on the ball because he is he is creative as well as threatening now of course we have our weaknesses as well in our team i don't think our defense is our weakness I know, I know nobody wants to hear that. People that, that haven't really watched us this season don't want to hear that. Our defense isn't an issue. We have two issues. One is set pieces. And if the last game against Leipzig was any indication, PSG are very good at set pieces. So that's one area that they can definitely punish us on. That is a big, big weakness from of ours. Set pieces. Corners, free kicks. Um, I mean, penalty, penalty. Every team is bad at penalties, I guess. But yeah, th those are two the two... Those are the two areas that we are very weak on. Um, 
set pieces and the second one being um, our pressing that is a weakness I know why we're pressing so high up but it can be a weakness um, just from the fact that we, we can't we, we can't sustain that for the full 90 minutes which is why I think we always started at around the 20 minute mark if you have watched our game against all oppositions this season in a Champions League granted against all oppositions in a Champions League this season the first 10 15 20 minutes have been poor against Tottenham they scored a goal and then we just kind of came back and destroyed them in the second half Chelsea you know they, they it was a very even game until we scored our first goal um you know, you move on, Barcelona, relatively, I mean, granted, we scored in four minutes, but then they scored right away as well, own goal, but still, they scored right away, right away as well, so, very d shaky, very difficult opening 15 minutes or so, uh, Leon, same thing, we need to start the game good, uh, we have six substitutions, and we can press, well, for me, we could press from minute one, until minute 70 and that's or minute 60 and that's when obviously we start getting tired legs if we press all out um two things out though we could be winning by then already and then we can do the substitutions to see the game out or we could be um still trying to like get the win and uh then we can always you know with five substitutions you can always bring in new players into the team so there are many ways we can do this all right there are many ways we can do this there are many ways for us to win this game Attacking wise, I'm more. If I was a neutral, um, yes, PSG have the the biggest star names if you want to call them that, um, but we have the better we have the better attack to destroy defenses, and uh, that's going to be very very key here. Um, so for me, the aspect is very simple. The, the way we're going to win this game is very very simple. Attack, attack. Attack is the best form of defense, they say. They also say attack wins you games, defense wins you titles. Yeah, I, I say that all the time as well. Yeah, let's forget about all that. <laughs> let's forget about that. Let's forget, I don't even want us to be cautious. I don't even I, I don't even want us to be cautious because I know that if we're going tit for tat, if we're going blow for blow, if we're going punch for punch, we win. We out punch them. And um, so, so that, that's why I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. 6-1 victory. That's my prediction. 6-1 victory. I know not many people are that confident. I am that confident. I am that co I am that confident. There are plenty of stats that go for either side. As I said, we've not lost against French teams. Um, we've, we've not failed to move further against French teams. Um, there are other stats as well that speak in our favour. You know, last time we had a, an Italian referee in the Champions League final, we won that in 2013, of course. Um, yeah, there are plenty of stats like that. You know, last time we went, we beat we, we uh, last time we won the Champions League, we had to face Barcelona as well. Coolio, but like those stats don't matter. There are plenty for PSG as well, right? You could say, well, Buffon just left them. Now they're gonna win a Champions League. Haha, -ha, you know, Buffon eternal, eternally never gonna win a Champions League final. There's plenty of things like that. All right. Uh, the key thing is that those things don't matter. Uh, if you really wanted to, you could make a stat for everything. You can make a start for any team and, you know, each team could have a start that speaks in their favor. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter, all right? It's just one of those things that doesn't matter. I'm confident in the team. Confident in the squad. Confident we will win. And confident it's going to be a great, great Sunday. But I'll see you all, ladies and gentlemen, on Sunday. Until then, have a nice day. Let's win it. Number six. Let's win it. Just simple. 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 Simple, man. Simple. Just simple. You, you score goals and don't concede. It's, it's, it's a very simple game. You score goals and you don't concede. How could it be any more difficult than that? How?